Hello and welcome. It's Joy Cube here, Queensland, Australia. And I'm going to um, see if I can make something out of very few colours that I have left here. I, I suppose I've got colours in bottles that I can add to it, but I want to try and get something nice out of this and maybe use my tools, my catalyst wedge or my comb. And that's a, that's a knit comb or a bug comb, Knitting or the Bug Explorer. That's what they used to use that in the UK when you had knits in your hair. Not very nice thought, but that's what we used to use. So I might try and see the effects I get just with using these a little bit because it's on a smaller canvas, but with minimal colours. So, 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 I'm going to start off with giving a white background on one side and a navy I've just made this big baby up so it's pretty full a navy background on the other I haven't shook that up enough only duly never mind go with the flow I will um use my little offset spatula maybe i'll try the white first i'm not putting too much paint on here because um i will be using some other colors obviously so i'm gonna just try it with this kind of composition a split composition i'm not worried about the edges there's a bit of yucky bits just chewy bits mixed media i guess all goes in the end it all um goes to make um something handmade that's never perfect so i think radio that's my blue i mean my white and i'll go in for this blue that looked as though it needed a bit of a stir so a shake a shake should i say should i give it a bit more of a shake and it's quite thick both the colors are so i might add a little bit of water to those containers or you can add a bit more um, pouring medium or flow trial whatever floats your boat okay um i didn't i might yeah put a bit more of the white on again again Let's see what I can get with this. I'm not going to... I'm going to use some Viridian that I have mixed here. And it was mixed with um, metallic silver. So it's got a really glisten in the paint. And I just thought these colours might look really nice. So oh, I might put a bit of Viridian in here too. I've done this composition a couple of weeks ago and it turned out quite ghostly in fact <laughs> so let's see what we get today this is a nice bright yellow bear with me because you're thinking why is she left that line down there i've got a little bit of it was white mixed with um metallic silver probably it's got needs a bit more color i feel i need some navy over there to lift that white side no i don't i've got enough there so i need something this side to give it a pop should i put a red maybe let's see i've got me tub of red here let's give this let's give this a bit of a oomph oh, I'm going real off tether here I might see if I can get some kind of effect with my wedge I might use the catalyst wedge I'll put the link to these wedges in the first pin description I am going to blow it out, but I just want to see if I can. There's so much fun to use. I I mean, I did these 
about three years ago I bought Catalyst Wedge and, and sort of done one video and then never did any videos much on them but then I've just found oh they're so much fun and yes you can definitely definitely get carried away and uh, do overwork it I mean I might lose all of this when I blow it out and then I might work on it again but let's Let's just see how we go. The colours are stunning, I must admit. They're pretty nice, so even together I think they'll be fine. I've gone real off tether here anyway. Let's go. Slow, try and slow yourself down because I do have a tendency, especially when I'm recording a video, to quickly get through it so that I haven't got to get bored watching. But really slow it down. Slow it down and think about where you want to go because you can lose some really beautiful effects. Okay, so what now? I wish I'd never put the line through. But anyway, I've done it, so I'm going to see what I can do with it. to do something with that. that's too chunky okay 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 I know I've lost a lot of that uh, catalyst wedge effects but you can always add them in I don't want to do too much I just want to soften areas up with the catalyst wedge I don't think I'll bring in the other two combs I'll keep working with the one end of this catalyst wedge. Wedgie. Just, just use it to soften effects or do some. But you can certainly yeah, get absolutely lost in it and go way too far. But just slow yourself down. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. I, I mean, I love them. So that's the only person you have to please is yourself. Don't listen to critics. I mean, constructive criticism if you ask if you ask for it. But you know, with this kind of art, it's got to be from your heart, not anyone else telling you what's right or wrong. And that, I just love it. I think it's kind of. Colours are competing a bit in it, but there is definitely a story to be told in there. There is definitely a story. So, I'll give it a whiz with my heat wand. I'm going to add some softness to it. I've got a balloon that's, that's deflated. Um, and I think this might be just a nice size for this smaller canvas. That's such beautiful colours there. I don't really want to chase that out. 
but just to soften up some areas you can do them different angles beautiful I do love it. I love doing it. I absolutely adore working the balloon into each painting. Not every one, but you probably think it's every one if you watch my channel. But if it's what you enjoy doing, it's your thing. Don't let anybody tell you it's not right. That is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Going to bring some of that blue over here again. Beautiful, love it. Got to leave it. Um, again, that's I don't know my pieces. This last couple of weeks have kind of seen so much in them that it's yeah quite. What they're telling? They're telling a story, or they're giving you a <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Weird, aren't I? But anyway, I'm going to leave it at that, my lovelies. I love it. I'm going to let it dry. I think that absolutely deserves a coat of either resin or a gloss varnish finish. You take care, my lovelies. If you're feeling sad, lonely or depressed, please, please, please don't suffer in silence. Ring a family member or a friend or definitely a helpline. There is always someone there to um, help you out. Okay, until tomorrow, bye for now. I thought I'd bring you down. There's always uh, kind of nicer, you can see the nicer effects a little bit closer. See what I mean about the balloon? That obviously was a different shape balloon and it gave a different effect on my canvas, which is awesome, really. Um, really love it just completely softens areas up absolutely love those te techniques together the sort of chaos blow dutch pour whatever you want to call it mine's always chaos um with the balloon kiss and the wedge catalyst wedge or a comb it's really um uh, I think it, it is odd in a way because of the two colours, but it's it's kind of, yeah, it still works for me. still works for me, so I'll leave it at that.